Good everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. On this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix if you get an error message saying that your computer appears to be correctly configured but the device or resource is not responding now you might see this error message when you try to access a particular web page launch a web app or when you try to install the updates uh, for your windows so or any or anything to do with which requires the internet connection so in order to fix this um, there are a couple of steps which you can try uh, to solve this problem so i'm going to walk you through uh, different steps so i would suggest you to go through the video till the end to fix the problem now the first step what i would suggest you to do is to run the network troubleshooter which is uh, inbuilt troubleshooter um, in your windows to do that what you will have to do is you will have to click on the start button go to settings once you're on the settings on the left hand side uh, click on system which will by default it will take you to system you will have to scroll down on the right hand side and click on troubleshoot once you're on the troubleshoot click on other troubleshooter now here you would have to run two different troubleshooter one is for internet connection another one is for incoming connection so you will have to click on run and follow the instruction as you see on the screen so as soon as you click on run what it will do is it will try to detect the problem by itself and uh, you will have to select the first option and then as soon as the uh, diagnostic is complete um, all you have to do is follow the instruction as uh, on the screen and uh, it will try to check if there are any problems and try to fix the problem by itself um, so once this is done what I would suggest you to do is um, close the uh, troubleshooter then so the next troubleshooter what you will have to do is you will have to click on um, incoming connection so basically it will find and fix problem with the income incoming computer connection and the windows firewall click on run now here you will see a couple of options here uh, which says share the files or folder or uh, find the computer on the network so you will have to use the second option which says connect to this computer using remote desktop connection click on next and uh, try to follow the instructions of uh, what you're seeing on the screen basically it will start running the network diagnostic and try to fix the problem by itself once this is done i would suggest you to uh, restart the computer and check if you are able to access a particular website or able to access the particular application now after trying this step um, in case if the issue doesn't uh, resolve then what i would suggest you to do is i would suggest you to disable the uh, browser proxy set settings so in order to disable the browser proxy settings you will have to click on the start button go to settings once you're on the settings page you will have to click on network and internet and under this section you will have to scroll down and click on proxy under this proxy make sure you toggle this automatically detect settings to off and under use proxy server click on setup and make sure this is also been turned off once this is done restart your computer and um, see if you are able to access the web page so in case if this doesn't fix the problem the next step what i would suggest you is i would suggest you to uh, disable the power saver for your network adapter to do that what you will have to do is you will have to right click on the start button go to device manager once you click on the device manager in case if you get user access control prompt you may click on yes or continue on the screen now under this section you will have to look for network adapters uh, so you would see those right under this section uh, so expand network adapters you will have to select the current network adapters so you will have to do a right click go to properties go to power management make sure you go ahead and uncheck the box which says allow the computer to turn off this device in the power saver mode once that is done uh, go ahead and restart your computer and check if it is working once um, so make sure you restart the computer without restart the computer these settings would not work now in case if this works well and good you don't have to follow the next step uh, the next step would be to go ahead and update your network driver to do that what you will have to do is uh, you will have to go back to the device manager again you will have to do a right click go to device manager 
once you're on the device manager you may uh, you will have to look for network adapters so expand network adapters you will have to go ahead and uh, expand the existing network adapters so to do that in my case it is Qualcomm in your case it could be Intel wireless router or any of the wireless router mentioned here so you will have to do a right click and click on update driver in case if you if these drivers are currently available on the computer you can click on browse my computer for drivers go to the location and update the driver otherwise you can click on option which says search automatically for the drivers and that would go ahead and search the drivers on the internet and try to install the drivers once this is done uh, you will have to go ahead and restart the computer and check if your computer works in case if this doesn't work uh, then i would suggest you to uh, go ahead and uninstall the device so to do that what you will have to do is um, you will have to go back and do a right click go to device manager again in case if you get user access control prompt you may click on yes or continue go back to the network drivers right click and uh, do a right click and go to properties under properties uh, you will have to click on driver in case if you have installed the uh, updates you may go ahead and click on rollback driver restart the computer and check if your um, if the issue has been resolved in case if this issue has been not resolved then the next step is to go ahead and flush your dns in order to flush the dns what you will have to do is you will have to open the command prompt in the administrator mode so you click on the search button and type command prompt and select run as administrator in case if you get user access control prompt you may click on yes or continue as a first command what you will have to do is you will have to go ahead and type the command which says ipconfig space forward slash flush dns and hit enter so um as soon as you hit enter you would see a message saying that successfully flushed the dns resolver cache and the next step was you will have to run the another command which says ip config space forward slash r e g i s t e r d n s and hit enter and all this command i would go ahead and uh, make sure uh, it has been updated in the video description the next command what you will have to do is you will have to run this command n e t s h space winsock space reset and hit enter um, you would get a message saying that successfully reset the winsock catalog and the next command what you will have to do is you will have to type n-e-t-s-h space i-n-t space i-p space reset and hit enter uh, and the next command is ip config renew that is ip config space forward slash renew and hit enter so after writing this uh, after running all this command you will have to go ahead and restart the computer once you restart the computer try to access the website which you were not able to access and see if this issue resolve now after trying all this step if the issue still persists the next step is to go ahead and change your dns settings to do that what you will have to do is you will have to go to control panel so click on the search and type control here and open control panel in case if you are in the category view move change the view to a large icon or small icon under this section you can click on network and sharing once you have network and sharing click on change adapter settings and select the network which you are connected with in my case i'm connected to this wi-fi network so i'm going to double click on it and uh, as soon as you have this window open go to properties and once you have the properties window you will have to go ahead and select the internet protocol ip version 4 or ipv4 go click on properties and under this section check the box which says use the following dns and go ahead and type these uh, ip settings or the uh, I, uh, dns which is 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8 and under the alternate DNS server, you will have to go ahead and 
uh, type the numbers or the DNS uh, server numbers as 8.8.4.4 you will have to click on OK and restart your computer once you restart your computer um, you will have to check um, and make sure and uh, check if you are able to access the uh, website which you were not able to access it earlier uh, with all the steps you have to make sure that you restart your computer every time you follow this uh, follow this step so this should uh, ideally resolve the problem in case if you're still facing a problem I would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that I can come up with a possible solution I hope this video was useful in case if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.